Welcome to No Longer Conformed, my online preaching and teaching ministry. We're studying the book of Matthew, the first gospel. In this session, we'll be looking at Matthew 24, verses 27 to 31, the power of Christ's return. Remember what I said earlier that in chapters 24 and 25, Jesus is answering his disciples' questions about when the temple will be destroyed and what will be the signs of his return. Many events surround the return of Jesus Christ, and three things are clear in today's session <clears throat> in these several verses. First, the return of Christ will be clear. Verse 27, 28, For as the lightning comes from the east and flashes to the west, so also will be the coming of the Son of Man be. For wherever the carcass is, there the eagles will be gathered together. The eagles will be gathered together. The location of a dead bird is visible from great distances because of the circling of birds. Job chapter 39 Verse 27 down to verse 30. Does the eagle mount up at your command and make its nest on high? On the rock it dwells and resides on the crag of the rock and the stronghold. From there it spies out the prey. Its eyes observe from afar. Its young ones suck up blood and where the slain are, there it is. Christ's return will be seen by all like the lightning. Luke chapter uh, 17, verse 24. For as the lightning that flashes out of one part under heaven shines to the other part under heaven, so also the Son of Man will be in his day. Don't miss the truth that the eagle carcass imagery here also speaks of the judgment that will accompany the Lord's return. Ezekiel chapter 39, verse 17 to 20. And as for you, son of man, thus says the Lord God, speak to every sort of bird and to every beast of the field. Assemble yourselves and come. Gather together from all sides to my sacrificial meal, which I am sacrificing for you, a great sacrificial meal on the mountains of Israel that you may eat flesh and drink blood. You shall eat the flesh of the mighty, drink the blood of the princes of the earth, of rams and lambs, of goats and bulls, and of their fatlings, all of them fatlings of Basham. You shall eat fat until you are full and drink blood until you are drunk at my sacrificial meal, which I am sacrificing for you. You shall be filled at my table with horses and riders, with mighty men, and with all the men of war, says the Lord God. Revelation chapter 19, verse 21. And the rest were killed with the sword, which proceeded from the mouth of him who sat on the, on the horse, and all the birds were filled with their flesh. Luke 17, verse 37. And they answered, and said to him, Where, Lord? And so he said to them, Wherever the body is, there the eagles would be, will be gathered together. All the nations aligned with the Antichrist will fight against the armies that are gathered from the east. And then all the armies will gather to attack Jesus Christ and his army. What's the result? Well, Jesus will speak. Enemies will be defeated, and the birds will get a good meal. That is our God. Second, the retribution of Christ will be thorough. Verse 29, immediately after the tribulation of those days, the sun will be darkened, and the moon will not give its light. The stars will fall from heaven, and the powers of the heavens will be shaken. The sun will be darkened. This phenomenon is a common feature of the day of the Lord prophecy. 
Isaiah chapter 13, verses 9 and 10. Behold, the day of the Lord comes, cruel with both wrath and fierce anger, to lay the land desolate, and he will destroy its sinners from it. For the stars of the heavens and their constellations will not give their light. The sun will be darkened in its going forth, and the moon will not cause its light to shine. Ezekiel 32, verses 7 and 8. When I put out your light, I will cover the heavens and make its stars dark. I will cover the sun with a cloud, and the moon shall not give her light. All the bright lights of the heavens I will make dark over you and bring darkness upon your land, says the Lord God. Amos chapter 9, and uh, chapter 8 and verse 9. And it shall come to pass in that day that the Lord, says the Lord God, that I will make the sun go down at noon and I will darken the earth in broad daylight. The ultimate fulfillment of these prophecies will take place during the time of the Antichrist's tribulation reign. Look at uh, Revelation chapter 6, verses 12 and 13. And I looked when he opened the sixth seal, and behold, there was a great earthquake, and the sun became black as sackcloth of hair, and the moon became like blood, and the stars of heaven fell to the earth as a fig tree drops its late figs when it is shaken by a mighty wind. Revelation chapter 8, verse 12, Then the fourth angel sounded, and a third of the sun was struck, and a third of the moon, and a third of the stars, so that a third of them was darkened, a third of the day did not shine, and likewise the night. One thing is clear and sure. In his own prescribed time, God will deal with sin. Third, the recognition of Christ will be sincere. Verses 30 and 31. Then the sign of the Son of Man will appear in heaven. And then all the tribes of the earth will mourn. They will, and they will see the Son of Man coming on the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. And he will send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet. And they will gather together his elect from the four winds from one end of heaven to the other. The sign of the Son of Man. This, the events described here are parallel to the description of Daniel chapter 7 and Revelation chapter 19. Daniel 7, 13. I was watching in the night visions and behold, one like the Son of Man coming with the clouds of heaven. He came to the Ancient of Days and they brought him near before him. Revelation chapter 19, verse 11. Now I saw the heaven opened and behold, a white horse, and he who sat on him was called faithful and true, and in righteousness he judges and makes war. His eyes were like a flame of fire, and his head were like many crowns. He had a name written that no one knew except himself. He was clothed with a robe dipped in blood, and his name is called the Word of God. And the armies in heaven, clothed in fine linen, white and clean, followed him on white horses. All the tribes of the earth will mourn. They'll mourn over their rebellion, over their rejection of Messiah. Zechariah chapter 12, verses 10 through 12. And I will pour on the house of David and on the inhabitants of Jerusalem the spirit of grace and supplication. Then they will look on me whom they pierced. Yes, they will mourn for him as one mourns for his only son and grieve for him as one grieves for a firstborn. In that day, there shall be a great mourning in Jerusalem, like the mourning at Hadad Rimon in the plain of Megiddo. And the land shall mourn every family by itself, and the family of the house of David by itself, and their wives by themselves, the family of the house of Nathan by itself, and their wives by themselves, from one end of the heaven to the other. All the elect from heaven and earth are gathered and assembled before Christ. This is the culmination of world history as we know it and the ushering in of the millennial, the thousand years reign of Jesus Christ on earth. Revelation 20 verse 4, And I saw thrones and they sat on them, 
and judgment was committed to them. Then I saw the souls of those who had been beheaded for their witness to Jesus and for the word of God, who had not worshipped the beast or his image and had not received his mark on their foreheads or on their hands. And they lived and reigned with Christ for a thousand years. This gathering of elect pictures the rapture. 1 Corinthians chapter 15 and verse 52. In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye at the last trumpet, for the trumpet will sound and the dead will be raised incorruptible and we shall be changed. 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verses 16 and 17. For the Lord himself will descend from heaven with a shout with the voice of an archangel and with the trumpet of God. And the dead in Christ will rise first, and then we who are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and thus we shall always be with the Lord. And it pictures the millennium. Revelation chapter 11, verse 15. And then the seventh day angels sounded, and there were loud voices in heaven saying, the kingdoms of this world have become the kingdoms of our Lord and his Christ, and he shall reign forever and ever. Christians will not have to endure the seven evil years of tribulation. The rapture will occur just prior as the event which triggers the end times. The only question is whether you are ready. And how are you ready? Is Jesus your personal Savior and Lord? That's how you're ready.